it's good to see everybody back here on the ukulele dad program the aloha maloelele that means hello in tonga thursday with ukulele dad we're glad to see everybody out there hope you're having a great week and uh, this month is the asian and pacific islander heritage month and um Yes, we've been playing a lot of songs to, um, again, commemorate, recognize the many islands of the Pacific as well as the countries of Asia. So yes, we've shared this on this program before, so let's see if, how you're doing. <laughs> okay. So here's an example of the many countries of Asia. And these are examples, again, of the Pacific Islands. They're not all of them, but... This will kind of give you an idea of what we're talking about. <laughs> but there are many, many unique cultures, distinct languages. So it's good to have this month to, yeah, it'll take more than a month to remember everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe they should pick one day a, a month for each of the different islands or countries. <laughs> But that's taken place. Also, this is Mental Health Month, the month of May. We'll talk about that more. And coming up is Memorial Day. Hopefully they gave you a day off. <laughs> but I um, wanted to recognize our most recent followers here on Twitch. We have Chris, Christian Tonia and also Sarah Pokainontas and Pepe Rou. So... Again, welcome to all of you. Thanks for following us here on Twitch as well as our friends out there on Facebook. We appreciate you. But let me see. Before we do our first song, so our first song reminds me of the seasons of the year. I'm sure all of you know what those are. <laughs> yes, winter, spring, summer, and fall. Did you forget? Uh, but... Um, our thought today is on the four seasons. So I want everybody to kind of do some stretching here and breathe in deep through the stomach and ask yourself to think about the different seasons. What are some of the unique things about the seasons as we breathe in and out? And sometimes we have snow, breathe in and out, as well as rain and thunder. Breathe in, sometimes we have a lot of heat and out. But each season is unique and they each have a special beauty about them. So that's what I want you to think about the four seasons. All right. But this song again, this does talk about the seasons. And this is a song by the Beatles. Okay. Here we go. Here comes the sun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Here comes the sun, and I say, it's all right. Little darling, it's been a long, long, cold May winter. Little darling, it feels like years since it's been here. Here comes the sun, doo -doo -doo -doo. here comes the sun, and I say, it's all right. amazing. Now, the other thing I wanted to share with you is our other thought, and then we're going to sing a song from the Philippines. All right. 
But um, these particular thoughts are all part of our, um, again, self-care tips. So this is an interesting one. This talks about perfectionism. And we are not perfect in everything. We do fail. And we do have times when our efforts are not good enough. But perfectionism means you don't really see that. <laughs> you think that you're not good enough. And so it's very important to increase our self-compassion and to decrease perfectionism. I think some perfectionism is okay, but I've seen some that really get a little carried away out there. So your self-care tip number one is this, to increase your self-compassion and decrease perfectionism by being aware of perfectionism. And think about when you have thoughts, feelings, and actions that kind of lead you this way, think about it and say, hey, time out now. <laughs> I'm not gonna get carried away with this stuff, okay? <laughs> So good. I know you can do that. Well, this song again comes to us from the Philippines. And I'd like to dedicate this to all my Filipino friends out there. We have a lot. We have, um, gosh, so many I can't remember. <laughs> but we have again Miss Alvi. We have Wilfredo and Aida and Cynthia. There's a lot more of you. <laughs> okay. But. This song is dedicated to all of you. It was sung by Imelda Marcos, the First Lady of the Philippines, as well as Nat King Cole, yeah. Written in 1938 by Mike Velarde. All right, here we go. So the first part is in the Tagalog language of the Philippines, and then you'll hear this in English, so I think you'll get it. Sayo na isko mabuhay dahil sayo hanggang mamatay dapat mong tantuin wala na of you there's a joy in living because of you life is heavenly I've never lived before never felt a single thrill before my heart stood still before darling I Yeah, 
yeah, I thought some of those strings were going flat. <laughs> Maybe it was doing Here Comes the Sun there. All right. Well, our final tune, again, uh, we're picking many of the songs from the islands of the Pacific and also from Asia. But I will admit, I don't need to know too many songs from Asia, but we're getting there. <laughs> right now, we're working on a song in Khmer, which is the Cambodian language. But it's taken a little time, friends, because i um, got to learn the pronunciation. Okay. song um, comes to us from the islands of Samoa and Talofa to all of you out there. But this is a song that speaks about the beauty of Samoa, surrounded by the beautiful mountain slopes, the water, where the people travel happily. And it says in Samoa, the foundation is God, your nation from heaven. And it talks about the Equeta, close to the equator, warm and not hot. <laughs> so, so, yep, that will give you an idea of what I'm going to be singing to you in the Samoan language. Yeah, we sang this and a lot of other songs yesterday with Wilma and Kevin. So, aloha to you too. So good, good to see you. Here we go. Samoa ea ima lo au fa'atasi means that Samoa is a united nation. All right. Well, everybody, that is the end of our concert portion. Now we're going to move into ukulele class. So I hope everybody's got their instrument ready to go. And remember, on the ukulele, we strum with the right hand. You can use your thumb your fingers, several fingers, whatever you choose. And then we use the left hand to put our fingers down on the keyboard. So each of these sections of the keyboard is called a fret. So fret one, two, three, and four. Finger one, finger two, finger three, and finger four. Yeah, those are the four that we use. Well, let me see. 
Today we have three songs we're going to do, but they are all review. You have done this before in this group. <laughs> okay, so that's okay. We can use some reviews sometimes. But um, hopefully you found all of the music in the Ukulele Dad Facebook page. Um, I did note we're getting a lot of stuff in there now, so... Um, what I did is I put a date. Thank you so much, producer. Yes. So what I did in the post is I put a date next to the um, the music. So you'll be able to find it in there because there's quite a bit. So that's good, everybody. You've been working hard. I can tell. <laughs> yep. So here we go. We're going to learn these first three chords. And you'll notice that we... A lot of the chords we're going to learn, we're going to use them again. Um, our next song, we do some we're going to learn now, and then the following song, you pretty much know all of them. So, <laughs> so, so you will be good, don't worry. Okay. Well, this song is what we call a beginning song because of the number of chords that we have. And again, in review, these are the names of the strings on the ukulele. So the one closest to me is string one, known as the G string. Next is string two, or the C string. Next is string three, or the E string. And next is string four, or the A string. Okay, everybody? But this is called the C7 chord. That's the name of the chord. And your first finger is on string number four, fret number one. So C7 chord, first finger is on string number four, fret number one. Let's play it. Good. You're playing the ukulele. Didn't know if you knew that. <laughs> and then our second chord is the F chord. So first finger is on string three, second finger string one. Okay, so... First finger string three, second finger string one. Let's play it the F chord. F. C7 with the first finger. Good. Now, one more chord and we're going to play. Okay. So, you've heard this set on this show. This is known as the triangle chord or the G7 because it looks like a triangle. First finger string three. Second finger string two and third finger string four. So this is the G7 chord. Okay. So it looks like a triangle. Five, six, here we go. G7, C7, F. G7, C7. Keep going. Te manu pukaroa, erua pukamanu. Te manu pukaroa. friends you did <laughs> you played a song yeah, it was a little fast it actually goes even faster too but um, with all of these songs just slow it down and play it at the pace that you can now the one part of the refrain we go ha to pop 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 so you just go one 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 ha to pop 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 ha to one one 
one huh it's a one 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 all right so that was another part that was a little tricky there good job everybody now our next song we're gonna do comes from the islands of hawaii and we have also done this this song before on this show so um the good news is we do um download all of these shows not only on twitch and facebook but also on youtube so that you can find everything on there okay but uh this song is called hawaii aloha so this is an intermediate song meaning we have a few more chords um, than the last one probably the hardest part about this may be the pronunciation but um Remember, all of the Pacific Islander languages are pronounced the same vowels. A, E, I, O, and U. And those of you that uh, are Spanish speakers, Romance language speakers, that's the same vowel too, okay? So, first we have the G7 chord, which we just did, okay? The triangle. Okay, good. And then next we have the D7 chord, so that one is new. So for the D7, I'm gonna show you, let me see, I hope. Hey, maybe I'm not gonna show you, okay. <laughs> uh, you never know sometimes. Huh? <laughs> well, let me show you, this is the D7, what we call the complicated chord. Your first finger goes along here fret two, your first finger, and then your second finger is on fret three. So let me show you. First finger is on fret two, see all the way across, and second finger is on fret three, string four. So that is the D7, five, six, here we go, D7. That's what I call the D7 complicated. The D7 simple, I don't have my chart, I think it disappeared, but let me show you. D7 simple, we are on fret number two. First finger is on string one, and second finger is on string three. That is the D7 simple. Five, six, here we go, D7 simple. Good, that might be easier for you. Now, our next one is probably the most popular chord on this show. That is the C chord, okay? So the C chord is right here. Our third finger is on st string four, okay? So the C chord, third finger is on string four. Good. And then our final chord, if I can find it, because everything's falling down here. <laughs> is the G chord. So remember we learned the G7 chord earlier. This is the, the G chord is the upside down triangle, okay? <laughs> so first finger is on, okay, let me see. So the G chord, first finger is on string two, second finger string four and third finger string three but if you look at it that's the triangle upside down so first finger string two second finger string four and third is on string three that's the g now play the triangle play the d seven simple first and second then play the c with the third finger So, this song is Hawaii Aloha, which talks about Hawaii, the sands of my birth, my native home. I rejoice in the blessings of heaven, O oh, Hawaii, Aloha. And then it talks about the happy youth of Hawaii. Rejoice, rejoice, gentle breezes blow. Love always for Hawaii. So, Hawaii... This is the informal national anthem of the island because uh, everybody 
normally will stand and hold hands and sing this song. It's very, very popular. Okay. So this is kind of a slow one, so I think you can get it, even my beginners. Okay. So here we go. G, D7, and G. Five, six, here we go. G, two, three, and D7, simple. And G, D7, two, one. E ha va. You did it, and aloha to the great streamer, Grandmaster Ong. You need to watch this show. It's fantastic. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, we've got one more tune here, and then we're going to call it a wrap for today. But um, this is another song, again, from the islands of Hawaii. Let me see here. Well, we've got two chords which we only use at the end of the song, so let me show you. They're not too hard. We have the G6 chord, so your first finger is on string two, second finger is on string four on fret two, and then we have the G diminished chord, first finger is on string two, and second finger string four, fret one. So let me show you, here's the G6, and here is G diminished. So you're just sliding it down. Sliding it from fret two to fret one, and from fret one to fret two. So that is your ending, it goes. Okay, that's the end of the song. All right, so you get, got it. The last two chords, and then we're going to play it because you've already learned everything else. <laughs> Imagine that. This is the A7 chord, so your first finger is on string 2, fret 1. So here we go. First finger string 2, fret 1. Yep. And then finally the E7 chord. First finger string 1. Fret one, second finger string two, and then third finger string four. These two fingers are on fret two. So here we go, first finger string one, second string two, and third string four. That is the E7. But if you look in your music, we've done everything else. We've done D7, G, C, G, um, the G, and we just did G6 and G diminished. So you've got them all. All right. 
So this song written by Leo Robin and Ralph Ranger and sung by Elvis Presley. Here we go from the island Blue Hawaii. Here we go. Five, six, here we go. Good. Night and you. fancy ending <laughs> so yep so the question is why are there so many chords in the song because this is an advanced song that's why the other two were beginning and intermediate all right well it is always a pleasure to be with all of you and again keep practicing refer to the ukulele dad facebook page and you'll find all your music there as well as the video so you can continue to rehearse um and um, I will be back next week at the same time, 12 p.m. Pacific time. Those of you that like talk story more than music, <laughs> I have School Talk Story with Dr. T on Wednesdays on Facebook only, 12 p.m. Pacific time. But it's been good to again celebrate the Asian Pacific Islander American Heritage Month with all of you. And also think about our self-care tips related to perfectionism. Yeah, be careful with that one. All right, we'll see you back here next week. And let's do our final aloha song. Samoa. Thank you so much everyone and do me a favor take some aloha out there to the world.